hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at minimum equal sum of two arrays after replacing zeros problem which is from lead code number 2918 let's now read the problem statement in this problem you are given two arrays nums1 and nums2 consisting of positive integers you have to replace all the zeros in both the arrays with strictly positive integer such that the sum of the elements of both the arrays becomes equal return the minimum equal sum you can obtain or minus 1 if it is impossible now in this case the strictly positive integer starts from 1 okay and uh, goes to all the numbers which are positive but the minimum strictly positive number is 1 right now if you look at the first example here you, i have 32010 and nums2 has 650 so if i replace this 0 with 1 then the total sum here is 12 and uh, here if you leave out the 0 the total sum is already 6 so i can replace this with a uh, simply 5 and i can replace this with 1 so i will reach to sum 12 and you cannot get a sum less than 12 in this case because uh, actually the sum here is already 11 without counting zero and since it is saying that you have to replace all the zeros with the strictly positive integer therefore i re i replace this zero with the smallest strictly positive integer 1 and that is how we got 12 fine so we will return answer 12 in this case if you look at second example in this case the first array is having four sum the second array is having five sum but if you look here there are two zeros so if you have to replace with the smallest positive number it has to be at least one you can choose any higher number as well but if you replace with one then the total sum is going to be six now here there are no zeros and if there are no zeros you cannot alter the sum value and that is why the minimum sum that you get in nums one is six the minimum sum that you get in 2 is 5 actually the sum will always be 5 in nums 2 and that is why they can never become equal and so we have to return minus 1 saying it is impossible to make sum of both arrays equal now if you look at the constraint the length of both of the arrays is less than equals to 10 to the power of 5 so we cannot write an n square algorithm because it will become 10 to the power of 10 which is way beyond your 10 to the power 8 which is a standard for one second so we have to write an algorithm in n log n or n in such a way that it should uh, take less computations than 10 to the power 8 to pass now all the elements in this array are in the range of 10 to the power of 6 so there can be 10 to the power 5 items and if you repeat it 10 to the power 6 times then you can get the total sum as 10 to the power 11 which is above your 32 bit integer it cannot be contained in 32 bit integer and that is why we have to take 64 bit integer which can go to around 10 to the power of 18 okay so in this problem we will be taking long long integers for the sum so i think you have understood the problem statement let's now look at uh, the observation and uh, how to solve it so if i take example number 1 here this is example number 1 i have 32010 so in this case the minimum sum that i i will get i mean the sum cannot decrease the sum can only increase if you replace the zeros because you have to replace it with a strictly positive number and the minimum strictly positive number is 1 now the minimum sum possible is 3 plus 2 which is 5 plus 1 6 and there are two zeros so at least you will be replacing them by 1 this is the minimum value so the minimum sum possible here is 8 the zero count is 2 if you look at the nums 2 then the minimum sum uh, will be 6 plus 5 11 plus 1 0 will be replaced with at least a 1 so minimum sum is 12 and the zero count is 1 now out of both these options 8 and 12 you have to see uh, which one uh, should we choose to achieve now in this case since this 12 cannot decrease because the sum can only increase we are replacing zeros with a positive number so since this 12 cannot decrease this 8 has to reach to 12 and replace the numbers accordingly so you can choose to uh, replace this value with something else like you can replace this with 5 simply and so it will become 5 plus 6 6 and uh, this is already 6 3 plus 2 plus 1 so this will become 12 okay so you have to check the maximum of both the sums and this conversion is only possible like you can only alter this sum if you have at least a zero if you don't have a zero then this conversion will not be possible and you have to return minus 1 in such case so here this conversion is possible and i will be returning the maximum of min sum 1 comma min sum 2 if you look at the second example then just iterate and find out the sum whenever you see a zero add plus 1 and if you don't see a zero then add the values 
so it will be 5 plus 1 6 this is the minimum sum that you will get you can get a higher sum by replacing 0 with something else other than 1 on nums 2 if you iterate you do not have a 0 and the total sum is 11 so the 0 count is 0 here and the 0 count is 1 in the nums 1 now if you think which one is the uh, higher sum 11 right so this this sum 6 will try to reach to 11 and this is only possible if the nums 1 is having at least a 0 and yes you have a 0 okay so 6 can reach to 11 by replacing this with possibly 6 so this will be 3 plus 2 5 plus 6 11 okay and this is how the sum can be reached now let's say that this 0 was not present here and the 0 was present on the other side then this sum min sum 2 will become 12 because this 0 will be minimum replaced by 1 so if you want to reach from this value 5 because here you do not have a 0 so it is 3 plus 2 5 right so if this 5 wants to reach to this 12 it is not possible because on this side and nums 1 you do not have a 0 so you cannot change the value okay so in that case i would have returned minus 1 but in our actual example i will be returning the maximum of min sum 1 comma min sum 2 so the answer is going to be 11 okay now if you look at the third example in this case i have nums uh, 1 as 3 plus 2 5 plus 3 8 and the nums 2 as 6 plus 5 uh, which is 11 plus 1 12 because this 0 will be minimum replaced by 1 now the 0 count in the first array is 0 and in the second array is 1 now the maximum sum of of these two is 12 so this 8 will try to reach to the 12 okay 12 will not uh, reach to 8 because it is impossible you cannot replace 0 with a negative number can this 8 change its value it is not possible because you do not have any 0 if you had at least one zero then it would be possible so in in such cases i will be returning minus one okay so if min sum one is less than min sum two and the zero count here is actually zero zero count one is zero then in such case i will be returning minus one another uh, scenario would be when min sum two is less than min sum one and the zero count two is equals to zero in such case i cannot increase the sum value of this min sum 2 and in such case as well i have to return minus 1 so you should note that the sum can only increase since the smaller sum array don't have any 0 therefore it cannot increase in in this example and therefore i have to return minus 1 so i think the cases are clear and you also know how to iterate and calculate the sum isn't it if it is a non-zero value then you just add it if it is a zero value just add plus 1 for it if you follow that approach then the time complexity is going to be order of m plus n where m is the size of the first array and n is the size of the second array space complexity will be order of one because we are just using certain variables only four variables right so let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the nums1 and nums2 and uh, i will be taking the min sum1 zero count1 assigning them zero values and uh, calculating actually the minimum sum possible that is min sum 1 and also counting the 0 count 1 so just iterate over the nums array whatever uh, array you get here and if the element is 0 then increase the 0 counter and uh, add plus 1 value for it because 0 has to be replaced with minimum uh, strictly positive number which is 1 okay otherwise if it is a non-zero value then just add the value to the min sum fine once that is calculated repeat it for the second array as well and after that you check if it is impossible to actually uh, make both the sums equal and it will be impossible if min sum 1 is less than min sum 2 then min sum 1 wants to get to min sum 2 but if min sum 1 has a 0 count 1 equals to 0 okay the, the first array has a 0 count 1 0 or otherwise the min sum 2 is less than min sum 1 and the 0 count 2 is equals to 0 in, in any of these cases we need to return minus 1 that is the sum cannot be made equal otherwise we will be returning the maximum of min sum 1 comma min sum 2 because the smaller sum has to reach to the higher sum so i hope this is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you